Good day, teachers. I am Wendy Crammy from Sohotan Kalapi Ball, a licensed professional teacher of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in mathematics. Your applicant. And this is my teaching demonstration. Good day, grade 7 students. How is your day? I hope your days are such good as mine. Well, to start our class today, let's have first a prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Guide us, O Lord, this day. You may enlighten me to provide the learning needs of my students today. For them to understand, learn, and reflect to our topic today. As doing my best, but yours the rest. Amen. And the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Alright students, how's absent today? Very good. You are all motivated. Since the body absent today. For you to be guided for our lesson for today, let me present to you the learning objectives. Determine polynomials. Solve polynomials using addition and subtractions. And give importance to a polynomials in real life sequence. Well, students, are you ready for our activity? What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Supply the missing numbers in an equation. What have you observed from the activity class? How many numbers are involved in one equation? Alright, there are three and above numbers involved. Well, our topic for today is adding and subtracting polynomials. When we say polynomial, it is an expression consisting of indeterminate and coefficient that involves only the operation of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and non-negative integer. Exponentiation of variable. An example of a polynomial are In our topic for today, we are focusing on addition and subtraction of polynomials. Well, students, how can we add polynomials? The addition of polynomials is simple. While adding polynomials, we simply add like terms. We can use columns to match the correct term together in a complicated sum. Keep these rules in mind while performing the addition of polynomials. Rule number one, always take like terms together while performing addition. And rule number two, signs of all the polynomials remain the same. For example, add 2x squared plus 3x plus 2 and 3x squared minus 5x minus 1. We also have steps in adding polynomials. Step number one, arranging the polynomial in standard form. In this case, they are already in their standard forms. Step number two, like terms in the above two polynomials are 2x squared and 3x squared, 3x and negative 5x, and 2 and negative 1. Step number 3. Calculation with signs remaining the same. Okay, let's try to solve. Now, we add 2x squared plus 3x plus 2 and 3x squared minus 5x minus 1. So, we add like terms. So, we add 2 and 3, 3 and negative 5 and 2 and negative 1. So, we add 2 and 3. So, we got, we get 5x squared. 3 and negative 5, then negative 2x. And 2 negative 1, we add 1. So the final answer is 5x squared minus 2x plus 1. Alright students, are you still with me? Great! Let's move forward to subtraction of polynomials. The subtraction of polynomials is as simple as the addition of polynomials. Using column again would help us to watch the correct terms together in a complicated subtraction. While subtracting polynomials, separate again the like terms and simply subtract them. There are also rules in subtracting polynomials, just like in addition, and we should keep this in mind. 
Rule number one. Always take like terms together while performing subtraction. Rule number two. Assigns of all the terms of the subtracting polynomial will change. Positive change to negative and negative change to positive. For example, we have to subtract 2x squared plus 3x plus 2x from 3x squared minus 5x minus 1. Since we are done with our rules, we will have our steps. Step number 1. Arranging the polynomials in standard form. In this case, they are already in their standard forms. Step number 2. Like terms in the above two polynomials are 2x squared and 3x squared. 3x and negative 5x. And 2 and negative 1. Step 3. Enclose the part of the polynomial which to be deducted in the parentheses with a negative sign prefix. Then, remove the parentheses by changing the sign of each term of the polynomial expression. Step number 4. Calculations after altering the signs of the subtracting polynomials. Let's try to solve it. By following the rules and steps of subtraction, subtract 2x squared plus 3x plus 2 from 3x squared minus 5x minus 1. So, we altered the signs of the subtractor. So, we add like terms. 3 and 2, negative 5 and 3, 1 and 2. So, they are altered 3 minus 2, x squared, negative 5 minus 3, x, and negative 1 minus 2. So, we come up x squared minus 8x minus 3. This will be our final answer. Any questions or clarification class? Wow! Very good class. You are really listening to me very well. I have here a real life situation. All you have to do then was to determine whether it is addition or subtraction of polynomials. Analyze it carefully and solve it. Alright? Very good. Juan is a grade 7 student of Fermin Tayabas National High School. They are given an assignment by the math teacher for them to know if they really understand the topic they discussed. By giving them the answer of 7x squared plus x plus 1 and the solution of whether to add 4x squared plus 3x plus 2 and 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 or subtract 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 from 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. If addition, this is our solution. And if subtraction, this would be our solution. Well, students, for you to have an independent learning, I have two polynomials equation here. One is for addition and one is also for subtraction. All you have to do is to solve it by your own in three minutes. Your time starts now. All right, students, three minutes up, and we will check your papers tomorrow. Kindly take your assignment notebooks and copy the following equation. Solve the following polynomials in equation using addition and subtraction. Well, well, class, any clarification about your assignment? How about our topic for today? Well, if no, then let's all stand to have our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the triumph God live in our heart and the heart of all people, Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Goodbye, everyone, and see you tomorrow. God bless us all.